We believe that all men are created equal. The magnificent mosaic that is America. Radio Beacon to Radio Beacon. Change has come to America. Believe me, help is on the way. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey! It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Road Show. Turn up your mind. In Washington, a dangerous standoff is looming. Later today, the Treasury Department is expected to announce it's taking extraordinary measures to prevent America from defaulting on its debt. <laughs> Those include shifting money between government accounts. The Treasury will also temporarily hold off payments to some federal employee retirement plans mm. and health funds for retired postal workers to give Congress a few more months to raise the debt ceiling. Republicans who control the U.S. House, and particularly those who demanded concessions from Kevin McCarthy before he became Speaker, say they want promises Washington will cut its expenses before raising the debt limit. Why wouldn't we sit down now, set a budget, set a path to get us to a balanced budget, and let's start paying this debt off? But the White House says it won't negotiate over such a vital thing. This is something that should be happening without conditions. Hi, hello, everybody. Hello. So uh, welcome back. Our economic system is about to collapse. How was your break? <laughs> so the only reason why we didn't come to work is because it was just too cold. It was just too cold. It, it, it was in the 40s. And uh, we just were in Florida. We don't come outside. Oh, Brett had COVID. Brett got the COVID again, again. <laughs> so he uh, decided that the best thing to do when you have the COVID is wait till you test negative, then drink some beer. <laughs> it was recommended me by a oh, come on. degenerate and doctor friend of mine. A degenerate <laughs> doctor friend. You know, we're better off sticking to the story that it was just too cold to come outside than to tell the truth about why, uh, you know, you were so sick last night. <laughs> After testing negative to uh, for the COVID, I mean it's unbelievable. But all this crap is going on, and 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 there's no stopping it. Okay, there's just no stopping it. It, it, it is an amazing thing that we had ourselves a little election. See, and four Republicans more than Democrats, just for uh, won their gerrymandered districts, and now they're in control. And hey, let's crash the entire global economy because what could be more fun than that for them? This is where we are. It's, it's, like, it's like stepping off an airplane and being told the airport is on fire. Okay? That is what... And they are choosing this. They are literally choosing to do this, you know? It's like taking a long weekend and coming back only to realize the Republicans are running the show. Oh, my God, they're in charge. This is frightening. This is unbelievable. Now, for those of you who remember the days when we were all reading Naomi Klein's Shock Doctrine, do you remember that book? Do you remember that? Yeah, that's what this is. That is what this is. Why would they want to crash the global economy? Why would they want to do it? Because it would be the ultimate version of the shock doctrine. And, and the shock doctrine just means this. It just means that you plunge a population, in this case, the globe, into complete and utter chaos so that people are trying to figure out how to survive it instead of coming up for solutions to difficult problems. Right, everybody is just so concerned with their own well-being, their own survival. That is what they want. It's an apocalyptic version of the world, and you have militia people out there. You've got the thirty percent that uh, you know vote for these uh, wackadoodles. You've got uh, you know the Marjorie Taylor Greene QAnon folks. Uh, you know these are my people. She says these are my people. Uh, you have these people that have this uh, fantasy, this desire to be in charge one way or another, and because they've never figured out how to be in charge of anything, including more than their double wide, they have decided that they want to be in charge through violence, through chaos. And uh, they're all down with this plan. They're, they're literally down with this plan. Nothing will function properly for the next, oh, I don't know, two years. But this is really what's on the menu. This is what they want. This is what they, they, they and, and you know, you have some of them, uh, remember we played you Bob Good a couple uh, days ago, right? Uh, Bob Good saying, uh, you know, uh, to Fox News, okay, to Brett, ba not Brett Baer, uh, to, to, to one of the, the lunatic fringy uh, hosts, saying this, this, would be, this would be suicidal. 
what you're doing. You would be you would be literally forget cutting off your nose to spite your face. You would be literally committing global suicide. And he's like, well, you know, when are we ever going to have this kind of leverage again? We got to use it, right? I know you look at it as courage. Some of your colleagues look at it as a suicidal talk because you're attaching spending to the debt ceiling and uh, almost guaranteeing if there are differences there, as there likely will be, sir, a government shutdown. Well, we have got to be willing to use that as leverage, quite frankly, <laughs> the same way that we would never have achieved the historic changes to the rules and to change how Congress operates unless we were willing to defeat the speaker to accomplish those. You have to use leverage points. That is what this is about in this business, persuasion and leverage, leveraging power to accomplish what you need to accomplish. And what they need to accomplish is, uh, you know, a complete destruction of not just the U.S. economy. See, this, 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 this actually, the, the plan that we're about to, to realize, and you have to understand, I'm ahead of the news. I, I've been ahead of the news for, for a while now, and it's, it's, it's bad when you're ahead of the news because people haven't had a chance to digest it, right? And so uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, last week, I think, I, we told you that, uh, George Santos was parading himself around as under a different name, and that and people were saying, I don't even know if his real name is George Santos. Well, you know, obviously uh, we were ahead of that story, saying no, he was going by Anthony Devolder. Okay, he was out there uh, marketing himself as Anthony Devolder, right? And he got caught doing that, so now everybody's just saying it. So the other thing, you know, we're ahead of the news on is that they are going to come up with a plan to prioritize the Republicans are to prioritize payments they would like the U.S. government to continue to make and other payments that they would like to see ended, ended. And trust me, Social Security and Medicare will not be on their list of things to be funded because if they kill the seniors and they do away with uh, reproductive freedom, they'll just make more people is what they think. I mean, this is real lunatic, fringe, apocalyptic, uh, you know, uh, handmade tale, whatever, you know, weird movies you watch. OK, this is what that is. But they're into it. They're totally into it. So they're going to argue that we should just keep making interest payments on the debt and not pay for, uh, you know, pension funds and not pay for retirement, uh, you know, uh, payment, not pay for Social Security, not pay for Medicaid, not pay for uh, EBT cards, food stamps, you know, cut off uh, people from, uh, you know, getting their payments on certain things while they continue to make interest payments on the debt. Now, you know what that is saying without saying it, right? Because you're smart. They're saying we're going to pay Chinese bankers, but we're going to stiff the American people. That is the plan. And they're going to start to expo explain to you what prioritization in their world means. Except they won't say, um, you know, we want to pay, they'll, they'll call it U.S. bondholders. That's Chinese bankers, okay? That, that is foreign governments because everybody invests in, in U.S. treasuries because it's the safest safest place to put your money u.s treasuries and the whole world buys u.s treasuries unless and until uh they bankrupt us or unless and until they stop making those debt payments and then people will uh not consider us uh you know the currency of choice we will the dollar will not be the the currency of the world anymore and uh, u.s treasuries will not be the currency of uh you know debt and financing of uh, U.S. debt anymore. I mean, so th th they're going to argue, you know, that they want to do prioritization and they want to pay Chinese bankers and over American citizens. They'll stiff the Federal Aviation Administration. They'll stiff the, the uh, Medicaid. They'll stiff uh, uh, EBT cards, food stamps, things like that, okay? Now, in order for that to be binding, just so you know... On the Treasury Department, the Senate and Biden would have to sign that into law, and they won't. So there's not going to be a prioritization plan, okay? That isn't going to happen. They're just going to tell you that's what they want to do. Meanwhile, we have till June 5th to figure this crap out because we're already taking, uh, you know, uh, uh, emergency measures right now, right now. Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.